Classic here. So today I am really excited. I have brand new The Doll Evolves hashtag The Doll Evolves Barbies. These are the brand new Fashionista Barbies and this line actually has three new body types which includes curvy, tall, and petite. Just to be clear, these dolls were sent to me from Mattel, but I'm not paid to do this review and all the wording and opinions, they are all my own. I really love the message behind this line because I feel like it promotes diversity and it really tells people, especially younger girls, that it's okay to be different. Embrace your difference and rock whatever body you have and be comfortable in your own skin. So without further ado, let's take them out of the packaging and take a closer look at them. So the dolls are out of the boxes and they were quite easy to take them out. The first one we're going to look at is this tall Barbie and this one actually to me looks much like Asian except you know there are Asians with monoliths like myself which means that you don't have that fold over your eyelid and then there are Asians with you know double lids. She does have double lids so I am hoping that in the future they will come out with some Asian dolls with mono lids so that I could just be more related to them. She has a medium length hair and her hair is actually even though it might look like just one color she actually has two colors in her hair which is dark brown and black. I'm not going to explain the details of her outfit just because I'm going to give you guys a closer look on the split screen but she also comes with her own necklace which is in yellow and it's casted in plastic. All the Barbies actually have stationary hand positions they do have joints on the shoulders and also on the hips this Barbie has flat feet and she's wearing yellow sandal platforms and I will definitely give you guys a height comparison after the detail comparisons the next doll right here is a blue haired curvy Barbie and I know this is the one that a lot of people are very very excited about just because she looks super cool and very different in her hair she's got a mix of three colors the under layer is in black but the top layer is in blue and light blue. This is the only Barbie out of six that comes with sunglasses. She comes wearing these purple translucent sunglasses and under the sunglasses you can see her gorgeous green eyes with like very neutral makeup. This Barbie actually has slight dimples right next to her mouth. Her outfit is in two pieces and yeah I'm not going to really give you guys a detailed explanation. Again, um, she has stationary hand position. In her case, she has them both opened. Her legs are also thicker because it would make sense for her to have, you know, thicker legs since she has curvy body. And on that note, she does have a bit of chubbier face, which is reasonable also. This Barbie has slightly tiptoed feet. She's got slight wedged black heels. Third Barbie right here is the Barbie that actually reminds me of spring or Easter. She is in previous Barbie body or regular Barbie body as a lot of people like to call. Even though it might look like she just has single colored hair, she actually has two different tones. The two colors are not that much different from each other which actually makes this really natural blonde look. Her dress is actually in one piece. So yeah, the bottom part and the top parts are connected. She has one arm bent and the other arm extended. This Barbie is actually in tiptoeing position and she's wearing open-toed blue heels. And around her neck, she's got silver necklace. Moving on to our fourth doll. This is another doll that I was really, really excited about. I just thought that she looked so gorgeous, especially her yellow eyes against her dark skin just contrasts and it just makes her eyes pop and I think she is just so gorgeous. This is a petite doll. As you can see, she has her hair up and it's super curly and her hair is so gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can actually tell on camera, but she actually has two different tones in her hair. She's got black and also purple. She's got these really huge turquoise earrings in her ears. Her dress is in one piece and I just love the pattern of her dress. Both of her arms are extended out. Her feet are in slight tiptoe position and on her feet she's wearing black heeled booties. This doll right here is another curvy doll and I also thought that she looked really pretty. She also has a chubbier face but compared to the other Barbie that I showed you earlier, the curvy Barbie, the blue haired Barbie was smiling with her teeth showing whereas this one is 
smiling with her mouth closed. She actually also has two tones in her hair. I thought she might have had one color, but no. She actually has very, very, very pale blonde and slightly darker blonde. Both colors are very pale blonde, but they are slightly different. Again, I think Mattel did this to create more natural look. She has one arm bent and the other arm extended. Her dress is in one piece and she has a pink belt around her waist, which is a separate piece. Her feet are sculpted flat and she is wearing black flats. And lastly, here is my sixth doll, which is in the regular body. And I feel like this doll is one of those dolls that just looks better in person than on photo or in box. And as soon as I saw her, I fell in love with her face because she has birthmarks. I have birthmarks on my face, so when I saw that she had birthmarks on her face, she just became more endearing to me. For her hair, she's got two tones. She's got orangey brown hair and also more dirty blonde brown color in her hair. Her eyes match her dress, which is actually pretty cool. And her dress is in one piece. And as you can tell, the front layer is shorter than the back layer. She has one arm bent and the other arm extended. And on one of her hands, she is wearing a ring that says love. Her feet are sculpted flat and she has platform white sneakers on. And finally, here is the height difference amongst all the girls. So that was my quick review on the Doll Evolves Barbie dolls. Because I'm petite and curvy myself, I'm hoping that they will soon come out with a petite curvy doll, preferably an Asian doll, I don't know. Just to know that there are more options out there, it just excites me so much and I love these dolls very, very much. Please let me know what you think about these dolls in the comment section below and also do let me know which one is your favorite body type. Once again, thank you so much Mattel for sending these dolls to review. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!